Hi there and welcome to a quick update on a geologic event that just took place in Yellowstone National Park. I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey. Thanks for joining me and thanks for your support of the channel. Uh, what's taken place here and I just got notice with an email from the USGS and some folks that I know and I wanted to put out an update to maybe um, get ahead of some of the misinformation that may or may not spill over from this event. But there was this morning at about 10 a.m. Uh, local time, mountain daylight time, a fairly moderate to substantial hydrothermal explosion uh, near old, in the Old Faithful region. This, of course, is, and let me be really clear here, this is not at all related to or any indicator that there's any uh, magma movement or volcanic event that's about to take place. The earthquakes are very quiet right now. GPS and ground deformation data is very quiet as well. The hydrothermal systems, the hot water systems in the shallow subsurface act somewhat independently of the magma. The magma, of course, supplies the heat for the system, but the groundwater movement and sometimes these explosions, which are actually somewhat common, is <clears throat> a totally different system and uh, unrelated to the magmatic processes beneath Yellowstone. So again, to be clear, Yellowstone is not erupting. Uh, there's nothing taking place. The park is still fully open. So let me take you to the area where this event took place. So here's Yellowstone Lake. Uh, if we kind of zoom in here, <clears throat> excuse me, towards Old Faithful. Here's the Old Faithful area, Upper Geyser Basin. Here is the Firehole River. Uh, kind of winding its way to the north. And then this area here is known as the Biscuit Basin. So this is the um, another area of hydrothermal features along the Firehole River. And the hydrothermal feature in question that appears to be have been responsible for this explosive event is this area here, the Black Diamond Pool. You can see there's a boardwalk right along it. There's a parking area adjacent as well. Good news is, at least of, <clears throat> as of now with this preliminary report, there were uh, no injuries, uh, no one was hurt, but there was substantial damage to the boardwalk. So as you might imagine, this, this little uh, geyser basin and hydrothermal region is closed for the foreseeable future in the park. Let me take you to the videos that were captured there. So there were some folks that captured, <coughs> excuse me, the explosion uh, with their cameras on video. And so let's go right to this video here. You can see the boardwalk. Uh, you can see the initial phase of the eruption of this uh, pool, this hydrothermal feature. Uh, but then you can see all the black material and then the people start to scramble. It's throwing out rocks, uh, people wisely running and getting away as quick as they can. Uh, and let's kind of look at that a couple times here. But you can see some of these, it's very dark, so it's more than just hot water and steam. It's moving and ejecting blocks of the rocks in the subsurface. Those are getting thrown out onto the ground. Um, and then one more time just to kind of make sure we saw it all. Uh, and it's jetting much higher than it was previously. So this was actually, if I'm not mistaken, this was just a hot spring, uh, not a geyser system, um, but apparently there was some uh, steam and pressure built up in that hydrothermal system, and that has erupted uh, explosively in this area. Again, these are somewhat normal events that take place uh, in, in Yellowstone. Uh, thankfully, everyone was safe. Here's some photos that the Park Service put out uh, showing some of the damage to the boardwalks. You can see all the debris and rocks along the boardwalk, the damage to the railing that went around the outside. Um, same sort of thing here with some of the damage to the benches. So probably this area is closed for some period of time, probably for the rest of the season, I, I might guess, just with the repairs that they would need to make here. Let's go to the the information statement that came out from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. So 10 o'clock or so this morning, July 23rd, a small hydrothermal explosion occurred in Yellowstone National Park in the Biscuit Basin Thermal Area near Old Faithful. Uh, numerous videos were recorded by visitors. The boardwalk was damaged. There were no reports of injury, so that's great. The explosion seems to have originated near Black Diamond Pool. Uh, Biscuit Basin has been closed temporarily for visitor safety. The rest of the area, the Grand Loop Road, remains open and they're investigating the event. Hydrothermal explosions occur when water suddenly flashes to steam underground, and they are relatively common in Yellowstone. For example, Pork Chop Geyser and Norris Geyser Basin experienced an explosion in 1989, and a small event in Norris Geyser Basin was recorded by monitoring equipment on April 15, 2024, so this year. An explosion similar to that of today also occurred in the Biscuit Basin on May 17, 2009. So again, um, that's what's taken place here 
in Yellowstone. Um, but just to, again, reiterate, this is not any cause for alarm. This is a very localized, small event. These things happen from time to time in the Yellowstone region, maybe to allay a little bit more uh, fears that might be out there for folks. Here is uh, the past week of earthquake activity in Yellowstone. And this is, let's see, this more or less here would be the Yellowstone region. And you can see on this map maybe yeah, 12 earthquakes in total and none whatsoever near the Biscuit Basin where this small hydrothermal explosion just took place. So um, so an exciting event, fun to see, a neat thing uh, to witness, whether in person or watching through someone's recording. Uh, pretty neat and also great that all these folks were able to run uh, and get out of harm's way uh, before some of that material fell to the ground. So. Um, again, nothing alarming, nothing whatsoever that is uh, any sort of precursor activity to a larger event or something else that might take place uh, in the Yellowstone region. So I just wanted to get out ahead of this. I'm sure as more as this news starts to spread, in fact, as I'm looking at my phone, I'm seeing more friends sending me uh, links and videos to the Biscuit Basin uh, this explosion, this hydrothermal explosion that took place. But officially, as you're hearing it here from uh, a geologist whose lights just went off, <laughs> turn on, there we go. Um, yeah, something that happens from time to time in Yellowstone and absolutely not related to uh, the magma body beneath Yellowstone, most of which has actually crystallized. So we, based on some recent research, we don't even think that the Yellowstone system right now, as it currently stands, is capable uh, of erupting anytime soon. So take a deep breath. Don't be alarmed by all the clickbait things that are sure to come out. Um, use uh, logic and science as your uh, sort of companion here and just a fun event to make to uh, you know take note of and then move on with the rest of your day so thanks again for your time hopefully this was helpful and appreciate you